Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make safe turns. This video was recommended by one of my followers who wanted to keep this anonymous. Unfortunately, I can't give credit to her name, but thank you very much for suggesting this video. So I'm going to start with left turns. In left turns, the first thing that you want to keep in mind is that when you're waiting at the intersection to make the turn, you're looking for three things. Three things. The first thing and the obvious thing is the oncoming traffic. Now, because this is obvious, a lot of people only focus on the oncoming traffic and they forget about the, the other two things. So the other two things are the pedestrian on the left-hand side. So the pedestrian who's going to start crossing the road because they also have a green. Now, while you're waiting, you may forget about the pedestrian completely and start to turn. And uh, four to five of my students have failed because of this. They've they started making the move and they all of a sudden realized in the middle of the intersection that there was a pedestrian crossing and they pressed the brake and they failed because of a dangerous action. And you don't want to do that. And it's not just about the test. It's about driving safely on the road. So the second thing that you want to focus on is the pedestrian trying to cross the road. The third thing that you're focusing on is the lights. So you want to, while you're waiting, you also want to see how the lights are changing. Now, sometimes the light may turn yellow or red and you may still be waiting at the intersection and you may hear a honk from the car behind you. Now, it is okay for you to hear a honk when you have passed the test and you have the license. But if you're on the test and you hear a honk, that is a fail, my friend, because you did not make the move that you were supposed to make. And on top of that, what if you can't turn anymore and the light has turned green on the other side? Now you're blocking the intersection. You're blocking the, the path of the cars and maybe the pedestrian if you're, if you're on the crosswalk. So that is not a very good situation to be in. So that is why it's keep in mind these three things. Number one, the oncoming traffic. Number two, pedestrians. And number three, the lights. You can remember TPL, traffic, pedestrian, and lights. Now, I am going to make a left turn here. There are cars in front of me. Now, what happens is when there are cars in front of you, you want to keep this in mind that there's only one car allowed in the intersection at one, one time, unless the intersection is big and it can fit two cars. Now, if there are cars, if there is oncoming traffic, then you will need to wait. But in this case, I do not see any oncoming traffic. That's why these cars are moving without stopping. This guy is being very careful, which is good. Wait, you check the blind spot, check for pedestrians, and you make the move. So that was a smooth one. Now this one is a clear intersection and you can make mistakes on such intersections. You still need to check the blind spot, check for pedestrians and the light and the oncoming traffic. So TPL, traffic, pedestrians, and lights. And while you're waiting to make the left turn, you want to know how many lanes are there on the road you're turning. And no matter how many lanes are there, whether there are two lanes, three lanes, or four lanes, the only lane that you can go into is the one that is closest to the island, which is this lane. The reason you want to know how many lanes are there is so that you can give the right of way to the vehicles coming from in front of you. So if there's only one lane, and you're trying to make a left and there's a car in front of you trying to make the right turn, then the person trying to make the right turn has the right of way. Let them make the right turn and then you go. But if there are two lanes, then the person turning right can go into the right lane and you can go into the left lane. But in this situation, you have to be very careful. Sometimes people turning right can use your lane. So be very careful, go very cautiously. And if there is a big truck trying to turn and there are two lanes, then let the truck turn first because trucks need a wider turn. So they are going to use the, the second lane, the far left lane, in order to make that turn. So you must wait until they have completely made the turn. Now, let's say you're waiting in the middle of the intersection to make the left turn and a pedestrian starts to cross the road. A question that I get asked frequently is, when is it the right time and when is it safe to make the turn? Well, it depends on which way the pedestrian is going. If the pedestrian is going this way, 
then you must wait until the pedestrian completely crosses the road to make the left turn. Now you may wonder why you have to wait until the pedestrian completely crosses the road. You may think that you will be able to make the turn before the pedestrian gets to the median or the island. Well, the thing is, sometimes pedestrians can be unpredictable. They may be walking and they may suddenly start running. In that instance, what if you're crossing and the pedestrian gets hit by you? So that can be a dangerous situation. So you must wait until they completely cross. Now, the second situation is what if the pedestrian is going this way? Now, if they are going this way, then you can wait until they cross the median, which is the island, and then you can start making the turn. In that case, also, you want to keep an eye on the pedestrian because pedestrians can be unpredictable. As I said, they can suddenly start turning around and start going back. I have seen that with my eyes. So you want to be very careful with pedestrians, okay? It is better to, to wait until they have completely crossed the road. If you can wait, you must wait. But if you really want to make that turn, then you can start turning after they have crossed the median. So that's that, my friend. If you like this video, then do give it a thumbs up and let me know what video you would like me to make next. You are watching Toronto Drivers, a channel that's trying to create better drivers on the roads.